Hello, fellow diamond painting addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today, I have some unboxings for you. These are some waxes I bought to try from a place on Etsy called Excuse Me Designs. And I will put a link in the description below in case you're interested in buying them for yourself. So I'm gonna cut these open. I'm not gonna turn them over because my address is on the back. But I bought two different purchases. So let's see what's in them. Oh, a lemon mentos. And this is a sampler that I bought that is supposed to be banana scented. I don't particularly care about the scent. I wanted to try some of these diamond painting putties and waxes to see if they were any better than the blue tack and some of the others. Let me smell this real quick. I wouldn't say it's a huge scent of banana. I do feel it's faintly smell bananas, so cool. And it's got the bananas on the top so that I can remember which one it was. This particular sampler pack was uh, I want to say $6.15. I will double check those prices though. But it was $4 shipping. So as always with Etsy, the shipping kills you. Um, but I wanted to try these out and when I was first looking, I wasn't sure what I wanted. So I ordered from this company and then another one that was local to me in the state that I live in, which I haven't received those yet. When I do, I'll open those on screen as well. But um, I went back and found some other ones of hers because I wanted to put in a more substantial order and try them. So that's what's in this package. It's from the same company the excuse me designs um, but I ordered a few more things I'm trying to cut this without cutting into anything in the package so let's open this up and see what's in here I ordered several sampler packs and a particular scent so this one as you can see is a sampler and is supposed to smell like Fruit Loop cereal so let me open this up and see if it smells like Fruit Loop cereal. Oh wow, that really does smell like Fruit Loop cereal. That's pretty cool. So this one was a sample size. It was $4.50 to ship this whole thing. Let me look at my receipt here and see. The Fruit Loops was $2.15. So let me look at my receipt here and see how much. Ah, okay. So the banana one that I ordered, it was $2.15 as well. It's the shipping that kills you. So it was $2.15 for the, the wax, but um, she calls it tacky stuff. So diamond painting wax. Um, $2.15 for the sample and then $4 shipping. So this whole thing with the shipping was $6.15. This one was a little bit cheaper because I had more than one, one order in it. Um, and if you're interested in getting anything from her, here's her card, excuse me, design. She's got a website, an Instagram, and a Facebook. I will have to go out and follow all of those. Oh, and she included a cute little sticker. That's cute. I say she, I don't know that it's a she. Do I? I don't know. Lisa. Okay, so it's probably a she. Anyway, this does really smell like Fruit Loops. And then I ordered two sampler packs. And I these scents crack me up because of the names. So this one I had to, to get just to see. So this one is called Mardi Gras. I don't know what Mardi Gras smells like, but I have been to New Orleans. Not during Mardi Gras, but I have been there, so let me see. Gosh, I don't even know what to call that smell. It's fresh and clean. Doesn't smell like beignets. That's what I associate with New Orleans, but God, I would love a beignet right now. So I'm not really sure what Mardi Gras is supposed to be, but it doesn't smell bad, so that's good. 
This one is peppermint, of course. You can see from the little candy on here. Let's see if it smells like peppermint. Oh, wow. It smells like peppermint gum. It really does. Am I holding that too close? Okay. It does smell like peppermint gum. That's cool. Okay. And then this one is Giggles, it says, is the name of the scent. What do Giggles smell like? Gosh, I'm horrible at this, you guys. It smells nice. Maybe a little bit of lemon in there. Again, it smells clean. I don't, I don't know why it's called Giggles, but it smells nice. So far, the Fruit Loops is my favorite. And then this one is called Monkey Farts. So let's see what this one smells like, shall we? Oh, it smells more like bananas than anything, which I guess Monkey Farts, that makes sense. It doesn't quite smell exactly like the other banana though. It's got a little something extra added into it, so. But it does smell good. Oh, here's the little thank you bag. Let's see what's in here before I open the other. Um, ah, get out of there, okay. So a diamond painting pen squishy. Those are always useful. A binder clip. I don't know why she included this, but bless you. I never have enough of these in my life. I use them on a daily basis, so I will certainly get use out of that, even if you didn't mean to include it. Another Mentos, which I will be gifting to someone because I don't use them. What is this? Is it like a squishy stress elephant? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Is that what it is? Is it a pencil topper, maybe? No, it doesn't have a hole in the bottom. Oh my God, he's adorable though. He'll probably sit on my desk or maybe he'll sit on my, my table here. Cute. And then another floral sticker to go with the sticker from the other case. Okay, and then the last of this one is another sampler pack. So let's see what these are. Let's see, this one is supposed to smell like jelly beans. So it does. It does smell like jelly beans, that crunchy outer sugar coating before you get to the soft stuff inside. I can't eat jelly beans anymore. I have so much dental work, I can't eat sticky stuff like that, but it does smell like jelly beans. This one, of course, is strawberry. It smells a little bit like strawberry pop. It's not right in your face strawberry, but you can definitely smell the strawberry. Okay, I don't, that one doesn't want to close for some reason. This one is grape soda, which I love, although I don't really drink soda anymore, but I love grape soda. Oh my gosh, that smells, I, I wouldn't say grape soda. It smells to me like a grape Tootsie Pop. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh, that one I like. It does smell like candy. That's great. And then this one is Bunny Burps. I don't know what Bunny Burps smell like, but let's see. kind of smells like lemon and grass. More lemon than grass, but there's like a hint of something. Got to say, bunny farts don't smell all that gross. Neither do monkey farts. So let me get these all back on screen here. Again, this is from a company called Excuse Me Designs on Etsy. And I just bought a bunch of sampler packs because I wanted to try them. Uh, oh yeah, let me tell you how much they were. These, let's see, the Mardi Gras sampler pack was $6.50, and I think she's phasing out the sampler packs, so you may only be able to get them in actual full sizes, I don't know. Um, and then the Fruit Loops was $2.15, and then the sampler pack with the uh, bunny burps and the jelly beans was also $6.15. So it was $4.50 for shipping for all of these, 
So you save a little bit more, save money when you order more at a time. Um, but I'm kind of excited to try these. I can't wait to see. Oh my gosh. And you guys, I have diamond painting pins out because I wanted to <laughs> test out some of these, which I'm going to do um, probably in a separate video. But I had a video where I was unboxing a toolkit and I had this and I was like, I don't know what this is for. And so I had unscrewed it and I was like, what is it? Because this this piece unscrews and so this was stuck in the lid and I didn't know what it was and then I saw someone else using it and I was like oh my god I'm such a dummy you just pull this off and it's a regular diamond painting pen but I had been unscrewing the whole thing and so I was like I don't know what to do with this well if you if you didn't tell me thanks guys I figured it out on my own I'm I'm an idiot so um probably just called myself a curse word on screen. Whoops. Anyway, I figured it out. So uh, I will be testing these to see how well they work. And I need a canvas and everything to do that on. So now that I have all these out, let me go grab a canvas and I will be right back. Okay, I have pulled out my mystery canvas, which is the next one that I intend to work on. And I pulled out a couple of pens and I'm going to be testing the Mardi Gras scented wax first. So I'm going to use my square diamond painting pen and test it out and see, but first I need to load it up with wax. So this is gonna be interesting loading up pins with wax with like these putties is always different than loading it up with like the pink wax always just end up kind of shoving it in there until i think it's full and then i just kind of go around the and your room temperature the temperature where you are does affect how good these putties and waxes seem to be. So I'm just kind of pulling it up so it's not around the outside of the pen and then trying to squish it more down into the inside of the pen so I can get it as full as I can get it and then pull off these little extras without pulling off the whole thing. Let me try one more time. Get some in there. It's getting to be where I've handled it too much now. It doesn't want to go. Let me get that off my fingers. And again, I'm just kind of trying to pull it up and shove it down inside the tip. Okay. And we'll see how this goes. Now, I'm just pulled up this section and I picked this number because it seemed to I was going to have a lot of these oh I like the sound it makes get that lovely popping sound oh it's picking these up really well actually and this square pen is actually doing really well with the square diamonds as well. It makes it easier to kind of place them in a row. Wow, that's really cool. So, I have to say I'm pretty happy with that. I think I might stick these somewhere a little bit cooler than under all of these lights and start off with them a little bit cooler so it's a little bit easier to kind of shove them all in the pen but wow, yeah, I'm really happy with these. So if you're interested in getting yourself some scented waxes, um, excuse me designs. And like I said, I don't know, there's a little bit of residue on that one. Don't know um, if she still has all of the sampler packs, but I do like some of these scents which is kind of funny because I'm very sensitive to smells. I don't usually use like scented candles or anything like that because it gives me headaches, but 
this I'm far enough away from actually liking how this is turning out and I love the fruit loop smell and the grape soda smell those are my two favorites so um, if you're interested in those recommend both of those if the scent is important to you um, for me it was more about getting some of these waxes and trying out the waxes and seeing how they work so um, stickier than the pink wax for sure a little more fiddly to get in your pen but definitely like that little snap that you get when you put it in there and I'm doing this on a kind of soft surface so probably even more of one of you use a table and hopefully you can see that kind of tucking it back into the middle of the pen there so that I can pick them up and put them down yeah I'm liking these so first wax experiment a success so now I have all different kinds of wax that I can use up <laughs> in my square pen or any of my other pens and work on my diamond paintings so again I will put a link in the description to the Etsy shop where I purchased these um, she is located in North Carolina so if you're in North Carolina and you'd like to support a local business you could support her and I will have fun using all of these I think I'll save the Fruit Loops and the grape soda for last just so I get to enjoy those smells for as long as I can so that was today's video the waxes from excuse me designs Let me put these all back on screen here for a second and there you go there's all of the different scents that i got if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also hit the bell notification icon so that you can be informed in future uploads and as always thanks for watching